Hey, what's going on, everybody? Paul Soros Jr. here. Welcome back to Paul Plays Minecraft. And I'm just giving Cusco and Cornelius, who was here a second ago, the, the grand tour of Machio Pikachu. I've made a few changes down here in the basement. Check it out. Look, Cusco, chests. I know how much you like to engage button mode. Go ahead. Go try them out. See which one fits your butt the best. Oh, there you are. There we go. Oh, you like the one in the middle? Yeah, that one's... It's, uh, I think that's probably... I mean, it could be my favorite, too. Go ahead, try it out. There you go. <laughs> Just don't leave any marks on there, okay? We don't need any skid marks. So let's take a look at what I've done here. I've got uh, three full-size chests. I've got uh, drops, animal drops, monster drops here. We've got some food products. And I can't get in that one right now because the cat's there. There we go. And uh, tools and uh, items that have been mined or snipped smelted and then over here we have building blocks and constructed uh, materials so um, and I've moved the stoves down here and I also made a doorway through here and blocked that off with the one chiseled stone block that I had so that this area would be more secure with the gates and that will be my bedroom as soon as I can make a bed I don't have enough wool or string yet so that's a bummer all right I guess you're staying now huh Okay. Enjoy your butt mode. <laughs> um, how about... I'm going to close this, but you'll catch up, right? So let's see... I didn't really get anything done outside. So my dock still needs to be completed. I didn't do anything outside either. I just did that kind of organizational um, process down there. So let's just clear away some of the vines. And... Look at the way they grow. It's kind of cool. I don't mind having that there, frankly. All right, and I left this little chest up here. And let's see, I moved a chest up here as well, which will be for chanting and brewing when I get my brewing stand. And that's going to be the next thing. Um, I do want to get down to the nether. So I think what I'm going to do right now is just put a little bit of enchanting. Put a level on everything here. Protection 1 is nice. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, wow. Okay, this is great. This is what you want. Regular protection gives you protection against pretty much everything. There we go, except for the projectile, which is... I'm not going to complain. And let's see. Um, I'm going to have to go back underground. I want to get diamonds. I'm going to need three diamonds for a pick. Come on. Cornelius, actually, you know what? You can't go with me. It's dark and dangerous down there, and there's a lot of pitfalls. Now, the cat... Eh, it's probably going to be a lot of lava down there, too. Although, you might be handy in a in a pinch with a creeper, but not worth it. You guys stay here and guard. I'll be back. Uh, oh, wait. All right, let's just get rid of this building materials, which I do not need. And we'll slip out the... Uh, back door here because there's a um, uh, you know what I'm going to bring some of the cobble although I would imagine I'm going to end up with a ton of it anyway alright fishing pole let's, uh, let's put the fishing pole over here this will be considered tools and I need some water I've got plenty of food alright I think we're ready to make our uh, oh wait I don't need the stairs. Probably should have done this already, but... That's not much wood. Actually, that'll be fine. Uh, let's make a few more torches. I've got seven stakes. Don't forget. Don't miss those stakes. I see them. <laughs> I see them now. I didn't see them before. Um, i got one piece of flint. I'm going to have to get some more flint. Okay, out the back. There's a, a waterfall over here that leads down underground. So let's go. Uh, whoa. Hi. Where's my cat when you need him? No. Break my terrace. I just built it. <laughs> Man, okay. Pair of creepers just waiting out here in ambush. That was interesting. Unfortunately, uh. They didn't go boom. It was close, wasn't it? 
let's just take some. I'm just gonna take a little bit more wood just in case. And I'm probably. You know what I'd like to do? Ah, oh, I left my shears behind, darn it. I'll grow another tree right here. Is snip some bushes here, some of the jungle leaves, because I'm gonna use those as, as uh, the roof, part of the roof of my uh, cabana. But we'll do that another time. I've, I've done enough building for a while. I think it's time to get back to the adventure. Come on. Stupid vines. Ah, clay. No, I did not miss the clay. Nonsense. The wizard doesn't miss clay. He just merely, not, merely chooses not to take it. <laughs> so the hobbit. Today is... Um, what's today? Let's let this water down. There we go. Today... Uh, Tuesday. So Friday is the opening of The Hobbit. And I debated going to the midnight showing, but my son, my oldest son wants to go with me in the midnight showing, but my wife is going to have none of that. He has wrestling in the morning anyway. He's Jumbo's wrestling this year. And uh, he's really liking it, but it's hard. <laughs> it's a tough sport. And the coach wants to have wrestling practices on Saturdays. Just a couple hours in the morning. So, I don't think Jumbo's going to be able to go to the midnight showing. I don't really want to go to the midnight showing anyway. You guys go into the midnight showing? I don't, you know, it's going to be the same movie on Saturday at a more comfortable time. <laughs> a more reasonable time. Where human beings go rather than vampires. You know, the Hobbit's still going to be the Hobbit on Saturday. And I'd rather be wide awake and prepared for the movie than be half asleep. I just wanted some flint here because I don't have enough. And the gravel might come in handy as an elevator. And you certainly can't go wrong with coal, can you? No, you cannot. And I need it anyway because I'm running actually pretty low on coal. So I'm still working on the book I'm at right now in The Hobbit. Um, uh, Bilbo just stole the, the chalice, a cup from Smog while he was asleep, and he brought it back outside to show the dwarves. Now, I guess I, don't, I shouldn't spoil it for anyone that hasn't read the book yet, but what rock are you living under if you haven't read the book or know the story? Well worth it to read it before you watch the movie, I think. Of course, my youngest son is like, oh, same, same with Hunger Games. I'm like, don't you want to read this book before you go see the movie? You want to, because the movie's different. You know, you're gonna, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have everything that the book has, and uh, you might want to get a, a deeper understanding of the characters and the place that they live in, which you can't really get from the movies. It's like, no, just watch the movie. I don't need to read the book. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's have a tater because I'm hungry. Tater tot, that is. And, alright, so now I've got plenty of gravel. I've got seven flint. That's cool. Let's get rid of you. I think that ought to do for the time being. Let's, um, get some diamonds. So there's another... What's this thing? Oh, more coal. Can I get out this way? It's just a dead end. There's iron. Which you can't go wrong with, can you now? Might as well take it. It's only a couple of bits. And back up on top. All right. Yeah. So wrestling—that was my um, it was my sport as a kid. I you know played baseball, I played soccer, but wrestling was really my passion. And so it's nice to see uh, Jumbo wanting to do it now. He did it when he was... I coached like the PAL League, Police Athletic League, for a year when he was a youngster. And uh, he did it for one year and didn't really care for it because it's a tough sport when you're a little kid. And one bad experience when you go to one of these tournaments and you're wrestling kids that have been wrestling for a few years and you get your butt whooped right off the bat. 
yeah, it's not all that fun. So it's something you have to think about. And we didn't want to force him to do it if he didn't like it. But now he's saying, why didn't you make me stick with it? Well, you didn't want to do it, so we're not going to force you. Maybe we should have. Although other times we do force him to stick with stuff like football. He wanted to quit Pop Warner when he played Pop Warner football. And we're like, no, just, just finish out the season. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to do it again. But at least finish the season. And he ended up loving it. And playing it for years. So. Lesson learned, I guess. Alright, there's a creeper right down there. I want to get down there. I don't have many arrows. So let's just do it this way. Somebody playing in the water, too, with you, huh? Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah, I'm not worried about you. I just want to get the creeper. There we go. I already. Enderman. Okay, let's see what we can see. We've got some lava here. Nice and low. Well, that's pretty good. Let's grab a little bit more coal. It's 42. And I can always come back and get this later. I kind of want to keep things moving forward and find these diamonds so I can get the obsidian to get to the nether. Now we can get some fun stuff going. I wanted to make some redstone lamps and put them out on the, t on the terrace. Glowstone for that. Of course, I need a blaze rod to make the brewing stand. So there's all sorts of requirements before we can really get into the good stuff. And I'm going to play around with some redstone a little bit more, I think, in this series. Oh, hey, come on over here. Some lava you can play in. Ooh, it burns! It burns! Uh, okay, I have a bucket of water. Where does this go? Nowhere, okay. Uh, I'm bubbling. I'm bubbling! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out, get out, get out. You want to go in there too? Yeah, you guys like to burn, don't you? Thank you. Safer. Oops. Okay, I don't think I wanted to do that. I don't mind having the lava here as long as it doesn't get in my way. Uh, you know what? Just I guess we'll just clog that up. Just get out of here. I hate losing sources of water for some reason. It just seems like it's just destroying a natural resource. That's why I like leaving things the way they are. I, I don't like just stripping nature completely and ravaging the land. <laughs> you know, it just seemed wrong to me. I like having the, the water flowing. I mean, occasionally it's convenient to destroy it so you can get through it. But, um, I kind of like to just leave nature alone. And leave Minecraft as, you know, just the natural um, landscape as natural as I possibly can without totally destroying everything. Let's put you here. I'm going to use up some of this. Don't need all of that. All right. Well, that is not really going in the direction I wanted it to go. So this ravine isn't that large, is it now? But let's go over this way. Hoping it would lead more downward. But okay, well, at least we know this is a dead end. We can not bother with that anymore. So, I guess we'll go this way. Doesn't hurt grabbing this stuff here. Get a little more cobble. Okay, let's head down it this way.
really want to get maybe a, a mine shaft or a stronghold would be magnificent. But it doesn't look like it here, does it? Gotta go down. Oh no, a dead end, really now. Well, that stinks. This cave is turning out to be kind of a weak cave, isn't it? Do I hear is that me splashing? I think so. Alright, lots of coal. We can always come back. I know there's coal down here. This can be my coal mine. Hmm. I was hoping there would be more to this. Maybe I have to do a little digging somewhere. No? I hear water. But that... Yeah, well, there's more tunnels up top here. Water doesn't mean much, does it? Potentially it could. Huh. We could dig in here a little bit, just see what's up with the water. If there's water flowing, there's got to be some kind of an opening somewhere cave opening, right? Stands to reason. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, there, that looks like it. And there's some iron there, too. Let's try to do this carefully if we can. Oh, okay, there we go. Oops. Wrong stuff. Let's try to get up above the water. Let's go this way. Okay, that's not above the water either. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, well. Well, it's another tunnel. I could have just come around, I suppose. Let's grab the iron. So getting back to The Hobbit, it, apparently, I mean, this one's called The Hobbit, The uh, Journey Begins or something like that. It's the, the first chapter of the books, I think, of the book is named um, The Journey Begins. and Because I think it's going to be split into multiple movies, which is kind of sad in a way. Uh, it's, I guess it's good that uh, Jackson wants to get... Yeah, really do justice for the book and get as much of the books as he can into movies. But it's going to be kind of a bummer that we're going to have to wait <laughs> a year or two. I would imagine he's going to do like he did with the Lord of, Ring Lord of the Rings. So it'll be a year between installments. So I I've heard three, like a trilogy out of The Hobbit, which again would be great because you'll probably get a lot more of the stuff that you wouldn't normally get in a movie based on a book because they leave a lot of the good stuff out. But on the other hand, it's gonna not going to be fun having to wait a year for, uh, for the story to continue and end eventually. But if it's as good as, you know, if, if he does a, a good enough job like you do at Lord of the Rings, then I, I suppose I can suffer... <laughs> Waiting a little bit. Whoa. Okay, I'm just curious where this leads. Obviously, it leads up. I just want to know exactly where up. Where it pops out. That didn't work. Sitting, uh, still singing that song after yesterday. It's funny. All right, well, here we are. Let's just bust out of the jungle here.
Okay. Let's see what we can see. I'm in the middle of nowhere. In the center of the jungle. <laughs> well, let's get back down into our hole then. Let's see if we can find something useful. Because here's another hole. Huh. Zombie dropped a carrot. Didn't even notice. Wow, all right. This one goes nice and deep. Oh, what's this? Oh, gravel. I thought it was cobble. I'm like, hey, cool. Dungeon. <laughs> what? I'm just listening for more zombie sounds or something because that is a wasted hole here. I thought that was going to lead to something good. 